Hemos perdido un futbolista impresionante, capaz de marcar la diferencia, así que pues nos afecta a todos. Xavi is furious that he lost four players to injuries during the international break. But Barcelona aren't the only giants to lose players due to niggles picked up on international duty. Here are the teams that have seen their personnel decimated by injury in recent weeks. Arsenal. We can imagine how Mikel Arteta must have felt watching his players picking up knocks during the international break. To make things worse, their next game is the North London Derby. Three players withdrew from national team duty and returned to Arsenal this week. Tomas Partey flew back to London after injuring himself during Ghana's warm-up ahead of their friendly against Brazil. The Ghanaian Federation stated that the injury doesn't look too serious. The 29-year-old was set to start for the Black Stars, but just a few minutes before kickoff, was forced to withdraw after picking up a knock. He was withdrawn as a precautionary measure. The other big headache for Arteta is Kieran Tierney. The Scottish fullback went off injured during his side's game against the Republic of Ireland. Tierney was substituted before halftime and immediately returned to England. Scotland's boss delivered some good news regarding Tierney after the match. Kieran was precautionary in the first half. He got a knock and the doctor decided to take him off. The third and last Arsenal player to withdraw from the international duty was Japanese star Takehiro Tomiyasu. Although the Japanese FA confirmed it was due to club circumstances without giving any further details. Barcelona. Well, I think I'm very sad, I'm very disappointed, and I'm very angry. And who could blame you, Xavi? The Catalan Giants were by far the most unlucky team during the international break. Barcelona suffered not one, not two, not three, but four injuries to their international players. The most serious injury was suffered by Ronald Araujo. Unfortunately, the Uruguayan broke his tendon and will miss the remainder of Barcelona's games this year and the World Cup as well. After consulting with several professionals, we decided that surgical intervention is the best option. Personally, these are very difficult times and I take this opportunity to thank everyone for the support I am receiving. A tremendous blow for Araujo and the Blaugranas, who lost another defender after Jules Koundé limped off while playing against Austria. The Frenchman will be out of action for around a month. While his injury is less serious than Araujo's, it's still a blow for the coach who also received bad news from the Netherlands. Both Frankie de Jong and Memphis Depay were injured during their Di Oranias match against Poland. The midfielder should return within a week, while the forward expects to be out for around a month. As if these injuries weren't enough, Hector Bellerin left training with a calf issue. I think it's easy to understand Xavi's frustrations, don't you? Milan. The Rossoneri will be bemoaning their luck during the international break. Coach Stefano Pioli will be without goalkeeper Mike Migno, who suffered a calf injury during France's victory against Austria. Migno is expected to miss at least the next three games, which include crucial clashes against Chelsea and Juventus. Visibly angry about what transpired, the goalkeeper left a message for the Rossonero supporters on Twitter. We go so hard until we fall. Just make sure you don't get in the way back. Theo Hernandez also left Le Bleu training camp. Although the international break can't be blamed for his injury, as he suffered an adductor problem during Milan's game against Napoli. Similarly to Hernandez, Sandro Tonali also pulled out of Italy's training camp on the first day of the international break. Last but not least, Denmark coach Kasper Ullmann revealed that Simon Kerr finished their opener with an issue. Kerr felt a slight pain in his ankle, so we will assess him today. We will not send him home right now. Kerr was finally able to play the last 20 minutes of Denmark's victory against France, but Milan will check on his fitness upon his return to Italy. Manchester United. What's that on Cristiano Ronaldo's eye? The Portuguese star took a hit to the nose and played against Spain with a black eye and a big cut on his face. CR7 was not the only Red Devil to pick up a knock while away with their national team. Harry Maguire. Why always you, Harry? Was seen hobbling after England's 3-3 draw with Germany. Both Maguire and Cristiano seem fit enough to play next weekend, although it remains to be seen whether they'll be picked. United will also assess substitute goalkeeper Martin Dubroca after he returned to Old Trafford early. The on-loan GK picked up an injury in training with Slovakia and had to withdraw from the squad for their Nations League fixtures. And Eric Ten Hag needs every player at his disposal for next weekend. Oh, didn't we mention? Their next game is the Manchester Derby. We are in a really difficult situation, clear, and we have to stick together and we have to find the, the, the sources and then we have to find solutions. You sure do, Eric. The last international break before the World Cup left several key players injured, and some of them could even miss the tournament in Qatar. Which team had the worst luck of all? Let us know in the comments.
Without a doubt, England were the biggest disappointment in the Nations League. After reaching the final of Euro 2020, the three Lions had been relegated to League B. Fans have lost confidence, and Southgate's squad seems to be faltering ahead of the World Cup. Check out our video in which we analyze what the hell happened to England's national team. See you next time.